Ardian Vorani, Chair of the Justice Appointments Council. Zero powers in the Constitution. The Chair of the JAC is only one of its nine members and has only one vote in decision making. Only the JAC can announce a publication of its decisions on the High Court website. The chair of the JAC is only a courier for the JAC's decisions. The most important function of the JAC chair is the publication of the JAC's transcripts on the High Court website. It is precisely this function that the JAC chair failed to perform. None of the JAC 32 meeting transcripts have been published since January 15, 2019. The JAC has enlisted candidates for each vacancy according to constitutional sequence. President, Assembly, President, Assembly, and not President, President, Assembly, Assembly. Vorani's individual decision to send two vacancy lists simultaneously to the President and six days later two vacancy lists simultaneously to the Assembly challenged the JAC decision. The JAC announced all enlisted candidates for each vacancy on the same day according to constitutional sequence. Why is the publication of the JAC decision in the official gazette a violation of the Constitution and the law? and a deceitful act by Dvorani? On the 9th of November 2019, Dvorani illegally published in the official gazette the JAC's decisions of September 21st, 2019. This decision was already published on the High Court website in line with the JAC's decision. Zero JAC meetings and zero JAC decisions for publication in the official gazette. This illegal announcement in the official gazette was used by the Monoparty Assembly to upset the balance of constitutional court and ensure its political control. How can Dvorani violate the constitution and the law, overrule the JAC's decisions, and seize the constitutional powers of the president? Because Dvorani does not abide to the constitution, but to the party. The party held him in office for six extra years beyond his nine-year constitutional term. For this reason, the president of the republic filed a lawsuit against him on two criminal offenses. For one, the acquisition of title or state duty, and two, the abuse of office. Never again with the rule of the party. Only the rule of law and constitution. The constitution is the supreme law in the Republic of Albania. This was decided by the Albanian people on November 22, 1998 referendum. <laughs>